back to the Miss Drea show where I'm your host, Miss Drea. And here I have with me my beautiful co-host, Lady T. Yes, and? And I have a gentleman who describes cooking to be more than just a job, but his passion. Celebrity chef Charles. How are you? <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hello. Uh, and now, is it okay that we call you Chef Charles or Charles Mocha or Mocha Charles? Or how do you want us to call you? Uh, most people call me Chef Charles or just call me Chef. Okay. <laughs> like when I'm out and about, I hear chef, regardless of where I am, I, hey chef, I'm instantly turning around looking, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, so it's a uh, chef or chef Charles. Very good. Perfect. Thank Perfect. you. So where are you from? I'm originally from Baltimore. Okay. And you've been in Miami for how long? Oh, wow. Uh, since the early 90s. Wow. Very <laughs> okay. Good. So I take it you're never going back to Baltimore. Oh, no. <laughs> uh, I have that old man spirit where I'm allergic to cold right oh. now. <laughs> okay. Okay. I totally understand <laughs> that. Mm -hmm. so, Especially after the blizzard they just had. Oh, yes, of course. That was horrible. That was horrible. So I'm with you on that. Sand. Well, once you get that sand done to your feet, you yeah. can't leave. Yeah, you can't. You, you can't. can't. <laughs> oh, no. I know uh, when I first moved down here, what I used to do on Christmas Day, I would stand on the beach and send people pictures of wow. where I am for Christmas Day. Yeah, <laughs> Aww, yeah, how yeah. mean. Yeah, because they're somewhere freezing. Oh yeah, yeah. I did that. I think last <laughs> oh, Christmas <mean. laughs> I was on the beach. Oh wow, yes. Okay, so how long have you been in the restaurant industry? I've been in the industry for a little over 26 years now. Wow. And as far as being a private chef, how long have you been I've doing been that? working as a private chef for 10 years now. Wow. So you're definitely a vet. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, this is my passion. I'm like, I eat, sleep, food all day long. Oh, that's <laughs> okay. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So what was it that inspired you to pursue cooking as a career? Uh, I remember my church mm -hmm. by the name of Jim Felton. He uh, had a catering company, and he utilized the church's kitchen okay. where he had several events going on. He asked me, would I like to help him out one day? Yeah, sure, I can do that. You know, And he taught me a lot of things to the extent where he would do two parties. And I'm like maybe 13, 14 years old, wow. and I'm functioning a party on my own. And all these wow. folks are like, Look at this chef. I'm like, and I got attached to the tall chef hat, <laughs> you know, wow. and it drew a lot of attention. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? I think I can do this. Oh, wow. And I fell in love with it. That is excellent. Now, you managed your first restaurant as an executive chef in Baltimore. Yes. When you were a senior in high school? Yes. Uh, tell the people first off, I, excuse me, but tell them what is the difference between a sous chef and an executive chef. Executive chef is the chef that's in charge. Okay. Sous chef is his assistant. Okay. You know, so when the executive chef is not around, the sous chef is the one that's responsible for everything that goes on. Exactly. You know, he's the go-to person when the exec is not there. So you were the executive chef of a restaurant in Baltimore when you were just a senior in high school? Yes. And it was strange to the extent because of the fact that I was this young guy in the kitchen and I had guys working for me that was old enough to be my dad. Exactly. And <laughs> they were like, young guy, you don't know anything. And then I'll get on the grill or get on the stove and they'll see me doing something. Okay, we're listening to you now, chef. Yeah. <laughs> they, they were so impressed of uh, my cooking skills, of being able to saute and flip things in the pan at a young age and not spill stuff. Mm -hmm. like, How did you do that? And I would teach them how to do that. I would teach them basic knife skills. And I actually do that now when I do like career day at the different high schools. Uh, when I go back to my alma mater okay. of Johnson and Wales, you know, they, they love to have me come back. And, of course. you know, like the professors, I still have four professors that are still teaching. Mm -hmm. And every time I go through, like I'll have my chef coat on, like he'll, they'll stop class and like, all right, Charles, take over. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't come over for this, but you know, the kids, they love when I do it, you wow. know? And then when I'm in this area, I'll run into students all the time. They're like, hey, chef, I remember seeing you. I'm like, uh, I don't remember. Well, okay, thank you yeah, very much, yeah, you know? Yeah. Cause I run into people all the time. And that's why most folks just address me as chef. Yeah. You know, and it's like, you know, it's 
it's a respect thing, mm -hmm. you know, with chefs being in the industry for such a long time. You know, after you talk with them, you can tell, you know, their background, things that they've been doing for such a long time, and that they have the know-how and the capability of what's exactly. going on. Exactly. Wow, Very that is good. yes, excellent. So um, you came down here. You went to Johnson & Wales University. Yes. Okay. And doing that, you had the opportunity to work for one of Miami's finest chefs, um, Chef Ralph Pagano. Yes. What was that experience oh, like? Uh, Ralph Pagano is, to this day, almost one of the best chefs that I've worked for. He, he picked up on my talent of being able to teach people and have them understand things a lot easier than what they were doing. Exactly. You know, like I, I ran into Chef Ralph at Gulfstream Casino. Okay. And I was in the kitchen, like, showing folks how to do things really, really simple. And Chef Ralph was in the like, like, who's that guy? You know, and it was like, when you're done, I need to see you. And I'm like, oh, God, I got to go to the principal's office. You know, because <laughs> you know? it's like when you got to go to the chef's office, I'm uh -huh. like, even one or two things, I'm like, he's about to praise you about something or you're in trouble. Yeah, right. You know, and I really, uh, you know, I knew of Chef Ralph but didn't really know of Chef Ralph. And everybody was like, y'all don't know Chef Ralph? I'm like, no. I'm like, Hell's Kitchen? I'm like, oh, really? Okay. And then they started showing me, like, the videos. I'm like. Oh God, I work for this guy, you know, and we, we just clicked like wow. till this day, like he follows me on social media, you know, he responds to the stuff that I do, you know, he tells me how proud he is of That's stuff excellent. that I do. He asks about my kids all the time because, <laughs> you know, I raise my kids by myself and he's like, you know, just keep up the good work that you're doing, you know, like, I, I got my eye on you. I'm like, oh wow, thanks chef. I'm like, Very especially good. with all the stuff that he's doing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. You know, he's about to open up uh, another restaurant that I just recently heard, you wow. know, I'm like, wow, you know, Chef Ralph is doing it. That's very so good. So I actually remember, um, Miss, correct me if I'm wrong, but your kids were actually at the event. Yes. And, and are they little chefs? Yes, yes they are. <laughs> and it's funny because like every so often they'll get into the kitchen and want to compete against each other. Oh, wow. You know, like over the holiday, they was uh, competing against who made the best omelets. <laughs> and obviously oh. I'm like, I got all these omelets sitting here like now, daddy, you got to I'm like, okay, that's a lot of omelets. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I'm like, who made the best waffles? Like, they like to play around with different flavor waffles. I'm like, they're kids, you know, like yeah. peanut butter waffles, chocolate chip waffles. You know, uh, they keep trying with the red velvet, but I was like, no, no, we're going to leave it up to that, you know. <laughs> so it's, uh, it's, it's always fun, you know, to be in the kitchen, and they, they love when – they see me come in the kitchen, and the first thing I do, I plug my phones in the charger. Like, Dad is about to cook because he's going to take pictures. You know, I take pictures of everything, you know, and all my food that I, I do, I post it, I blog it. You know, I have, it's, it's funny because I have uh, strong followers, mm -hmm. you know, of the healthy segments that I put out all the time, the food that I do, like, on a regular basis. And mm -hmm. folks ask all the time, do you have a brick and mortar? I'm like, no, I'm a mobile chef. I come to you. Right. And the next question is like, how far you travel? Uh, where do you need me to go? Exactly. Right. That was my next <laughs> question. Exactly. Um, so tell us a little bit more about your healthy food section. Uh, uh, my healthy food segment uh, is eat healthy, think healthy. Okay. You know, I, I hashtag it, you know, throughout Instagram and Facebook. And I've just recently started to post a lot more on Pinterest and, you know, the other, right. you know, social Sites. outlets and stuff like that. And if you click, if you have, if you click hashtag, like eat healthy, tons of stuff will come up of stuff that I post. I'm like, I've been, okay. I've been posting that, you know, healthy segment for a little over a year now. Wow. Okay. You Great. know, like I've actually teamed up with, uh, a doctor who is a chiropractor who does nutrition, mm -hmm. you know, and I teamed up with them and we were doing segments on teaching people how to understand the food facts on labels. And okay. while she did all of her uh, talking and explaining, I was the one with the food demo part of it, <laughs> you know, Very which cute. everyone wants to see the food part of it. I'm like, right. man. You know, you want to listen to the healthy side of what's going on and try to put attention into it. 
Yes. You get more attention when there's actually food involved. <laughs> okay. Wow. Yes. So what is it that inspires you to cook? What, what pushes you? Uh, what do you love about it? What I love about it is the response that I get from people when they see what I consider real basic. <laughs> you know, they look at us like, wow, how'd you? I'm like, uh, I, I just thought about it, and boom, and I just put it together. You know, uh, I, I have folks that will reach out to me for something real simple. Like, how do you make that? I'm like, really? That's real simple. To <laughs> but you make it simple. I can't do it. You know, then before you know it, I'm doing a cooking demonstration lecture over the phone. Wow. Wow. You know, so it's like, oh, okay, well, why you make it seem so I've been doing it for over 26 years. It's easy to me. <laughs> wow. You know. So you've had the opportunity to work in New York, um, Atlantic City, Ball Harbor, and, and Orlando through the Palm Steakhouse. Yes. I was a uh, trainer sous chef for them. You know, my home store was Philadelphia. Okay. You know, they when they sat me down to talk to me about training, it's like uh, you can either go to Denver mm -hmm. or you can go to L.A. Which one you think you're going to go to, Denver? L I, I want to go to L.A. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I I spent my time downtown L.A. You know, I wasn't that far from Chinatown. I was Fashion District, Jewelry Row. It was it was nice. Like the Palm that I was at. Uh, in downtown LA was literally right across from the Staples Center. Okay. And the year, the time that I lived there, Shaq played for LA. Oh, wow. You know, and the Palm Steakhouse is one of his favorite restaurants. And it was so happened that while I was there working, he brought out the restaurant for his birthday. You know, so he came into the kitchen, thanked all of us for the wonderful meal, you know, joking and playing because, you know, Shaq is a big kid. He, he, right. he's, a, he's a good guy. He's a good kid. I, you know, I, and it's just comical just to have a conversation with him. Yes. And we was in the kitchen just laughing and joking. And then fast forward, I'm down here in Miami, you know, and then Shaq is here Shaq playing. Is here playing. You know, he had an event at his home and it was like... They had a chef already, and I came in and assisted the chef, wow. and he remembered me from L.A. Oh, wow. You know, and I was like, oh, <laughs> oh you're following me now. <laughs> you know, you're following me. No, Shaq, I was here first. <laughs> <laughs> so working with the Palm Steakhouse, you had the opportunity to work for these big names like Shaquille O'Neal and Wiz Khalifa and Brandon Flowers. Um, Actually, uh Working for Brandon Flowers and Wiz Khalifa and those folks was under my private organization okay. of me of my Mocha Charlie personal business. Okay, perfect. You know, it was their agents reached out, you know, uh, we have a client coming into town. They need a chef, a maid, and a butler. I was that chef that was called. You know, they never told me who the client was, and then I see who it is when they show up to the house. I'm like, wow. That's where it's Cleveland Amber Rose. Wow. <laughs> like, and it's funny because at the time, I really didn't know who Wiz Khalifa was. You know, okay. I, I heard of him, but didn't really know. But right away, I knew who Amber Rose was. <laughs> I'm like, that's Amber Rose. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and it was, it, was, it was amazing cooking for her, you know, like, and she's a big health nut. Okay. You know, where I would be in the kitchen cooking breakfast because breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And okay. I'll be cooking breakfast, you know, egg whites or fresh sliced fruit. And she'll literally sit at the kitchen counter and watch me cook food for her, uh -huh. you know, and we're just still having conversations because of the fact that, you know, I lived in Philly for a little while. She's from Philadelphia. So mm -hmm. we start talking about old neighborhoods, okay. you know, and stuff like that. I was like, oh, wow. You know, <laughs> so I had okay. a lot of fun with that. Okay. So when you got to the point um, that you were cooking for these big name people, Jamie Foxx and whatnot, Amber Rose, what, what did that feel what did that feel like to you? It felt very accomplished mm -hmm. of being able to be called upon to cook for those guys. Yeah. You know, uh, I know a lot of times folks get starstruck of who they're doing things for and that was something about those guys where it was like I kept it strictly professional, you know, like they always look, it was like, do you always wear that tall chef hat? I'm like, yeah, <laughs> you know, that's 
what I do, you know, the, this like signature thing. Exactly. Because you know? then when I'm out in uniform and they see my my long locks, it's like a whole nother can <laughs> of worms. It's like yeah. I shock people. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, so. I enjoy the fact that you um, come across and you appear to be a person who just loves food. Does not matter who's eating the food or what level or title they have. Pretty just much. Just as long as your clients enjoy the product that you're producing. That's pretty much. I know I, I had a conversation with the president and owner of Urgent Care when I cooked for him and his family. And he noticed that. He was like, it really doesn't shock you who you're cooking for. I'm like, no, because everyone eats the same. You know, mm -hmm. everyone has different taste buds. Mm -hmm. And my job is to mm -hmm. make food taste good and look good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's, that's exactly and how you present it. Not only do you do that, but you also, you educate people as yes. far as what the health and nutrition, nu nutritional part of it. Yes. Uh, I know, like, with my kids in school, mm -hmm. like, my, my oldest two are in ROTC. Okay. You know, so I talk with the battalion, you know, and all those guys about how to eat healthy, you know, being hydrated when they're out practicing and doing different things. I know, like, for career day, uh, my kids' schools reach out to me every year, mm -hmm. you know, to come do career day. And I remember, uh, uh, I can't even, I'm, I'm having, it's slipping my mind the name of the school that my daughter went to. It was a middle school that's uh, right off of, it's right down the street from, uh, the casino okay. and they had me do career day for the first time they put me in a classroom and all the teachers were like sneaking out the classroom <laughs> to see what I was doing because I had baskets of apples and bananas and bottled water and I would ask the kids questions mm -hmm. like real simple questions you know like how much water should you drink you know stuff like that how much fruit should you eat and when they got the questions correct their prize or their gift was pick one, you know, apple, Great. orange, and, you know, and it was exciting for them to do stuff like that. And to the extent where the next go around when I did it, they put me in an auditorium, wow. you know, to have a larger <laughs> crowd. <laughs> it was like, oh, okay. So actually, uh, I want to say next month. Should be career day coming around again. Oh, wow. <laughs> so you got your hands full. Yeah, you know, so it's, uh, it's, always, it's always fun to be able to do stuff like that, you know. Okay, that's perfect. So as far as obtaining your services for Mocha Charlie's. Yes. How can we do that? Uh, I can be reached, uh, Chef Charles. Okay. You know, on Facebook. Everyone's on Instagram. Exactly. You know, <laughs> and with my Instagram, yes, I grabbed the 305 right away. So it's... Chef Charles 305 on Instagram. Okay. Okay. Uh, you can check out my website. It's mochacharlies.com. Okay. You know, it's, uh, that's about it for now. Oh, you know, great. as far as okay. like reaching out and finding me, like all of my contact information of how to reach me and uh, events that you might catch me at, okay. you know, I post on my website. Okay, perfect. You know, uh, I post and blog on Facebook and Instagram literally every day. Okay, that's excellent. Yeah. You have to keep that going. <laughs> to give you all a taste of what uh, Chef Charles has to offer, this is his Valentine's Day special. And Chef Charles, if you would do the honor as to telling us exactly what you provide and how much something like this would cost. Yes. Well, it's the beginning of the month, February. Yes. You know, lovers you know, your significant other, doing something really, really nice for them. So every year I come up with a really nice Valentine's Day package. Okay. You know, your Valentine's Day package consists of a surf and turf with steak, uh, garlic roasted, red skin mashed potatoes, okay. Alaskan king salmon uh, with bamboo steamed asparagus. You have sautéed mushrooms on top of the steak. A nice uh, chiffonade of green onions on top of the salmon, chocolate covered strawberries, a dozen of roses, uh, a bottle of red or white wine, uh, two bottles of my signature Voss fruit water, because <laughs> when I do my meal plans for clients for healthy eating, you know, 
five days a week, uh, seven days a week. With each day, they have a bottle of fruit water to go along with it. Uh, and two glasses of wine, two glasses to go along with your wine. You know, the package uh, that I put together goes for $80. And That's that excellent. includes delivery. Wow. And to have me set it up and present it, it's an additional 25 you know, so I have uh, a few folks that every year they reach out and contact. Of course. You know, course, I uh, I don't change, you know, what the menu is, okay. you know, because it's kind of preset because of the volume that I have come in. The only thing that I have different this time is you can do a choice between salmon or lobster. Okay. You know, still at the same price. Okay, perfect. Perfect. So this is excellent. And wow, it's such a it's such a reasonable price, especially with, you know, the fact that you do travel to your client. It's, yes. it's great. Yes, Mobile. That, that's the thing that got me. And it looks so delicious. And if you guys could smell it, I wish you was here. I'm like so ready to dig in. I love sucking on some asparagus anyway. Oh my goodness. That's where smell of vision oh, need to start coming in. The aroma. <laughs> it smells so good. This is a lot of food. This is a lot. No, it's yes. And and Perfect. I'm pretty sure that you hook the people up and you're mobile and yes. you, you bring the food and and we all we have to do is just take it from the bag uh, and pretty put much, it in our nice dishes. You know, all the food will be prepared and you pretty much just have to heat it up. Mm -hmm. I have a few folks that you know, I don't want to mess it up. I'm like, it's not that difficult to mess it up. But, you know, you, you want to have that ambiance of the yeah, chef cooking yeah, yeah. for you? Fine. No oh, problem. Man. But, I mean, the portobello marsh. I mean, everything, the mushroom, the every, and it comes with um, two meats each. Yeah, it's nice surf and turf. Okay. It's oh, that is it's wonderful. You know, to have your Valentine's Day dinner in the comfort of your own home instead of spending a lot of money at someone's restaurant. Exactly. Where long lines. more likely you'll probably spend more than that with what you have included. Exactly. You know, like roses, a dozen of roses is running at least $20. Yeah, by itself. <laughs> yeah, by yeah, itself. Yeah. yeah, and you get the Voss fruit water. I am just so <laughs> excited about this whole little plan right here. I would order, I, I'm so... Surprised, I would say, because of the price value of what you're getting. Yeah. And it's mobile. Mobile <laughs> means he's coming to you, ladies. You, we don't have to cook. And I ain't even much got no man, but I'm wanting to suck on a couple of strawberries tonight. <laughs> I'm thinking I'm going to use your services, okay? Ah, thank you very much. Uh, I would appreciate again it. Tell your how to, how to get this on and you will be delivering the day before, the day after. It would. Um, we have to set up a date. Yeah, How does like that I work? will. Like I'll set up. Like uh, set up a date. You know, if you want it delivered the day before, okay. the day of, okay. uh, and for those who want it the day after, you know, that works out even better for me. You know, the day <laughs> after. Well, you know, you got uh, a couple of people who got some sad pieces. So you know who you are. <laughs> um, but you go know, ahead, tell us how to get it. Uh, you can reach me. You know, Chef Charles 305 on Instagram. You can find me on Facebook, Charles Harris. Uh, when you see me on Facebook, it'll be my Mocha Charlie MC logo. Okay. Or you'll see pictures of me. You know, like if you Google Chef Charles, I because of the fact that I post and blog so much stuff, you know, mm -hmm. A lot of my stuff will come up okay. when you blog it. You know, my mm -hmm. Mocha Charlies will pop up. You know, and this, that, and the other, you know, Perfect. because of how much I'm on social media. That's mm -hmm. great. That's you know, And you so heard it excellent. here. As simple as ordering a pizza. Just <laughs> go on the computer, Google, type in what you want, and he will have it there for you. Exactly. Or contact you. Chef Charles, I appreciate you so much. Every time I see you, you know, <laughs> it's always a pleasure. It is never a down oh, moment no, with of you. Of course not. You um, know, of course I appreciate not. you so much. This guy... Everything he makes is delicious, okay? Mm. I'm just going to tell you that. Mm. He makes some mm. great things. You just have to stay tuned, and we'll see more. But um, 
Child. He's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> so I like to thank you so much for coming through to the Mystery of Shy. I appreciate thank you so much. You. Oh, thank you for having me. You know, like I said, I look forward to coming back and really exposing people to good food. Oh, mm -hmm. and we look forward to giving you a platform to do it on. Oh, thank you. <laughs> hey, all right. Stay tuned for more of the Mystery of Show. And when we come back, Ooh. we'll come back with so much more. Yes. Yes.